Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, I am going to explain the different fixed in movements for the common loading conditions. So, here are the different fixed in beams with the different loading condition and we will show the different movements at the fixed supports. So, if we start here with this beam where the pointed load P here is acting at the center of the beam and the load is acting at L by 2 from by 2 from one end and also L by 2 from the another end and it's on the pointed load acting and the both supports here are fixed supports then you can directly find the movements without using uh, any equilibrium equation because the equilibrium equation are also not possible to find out the movements uh, because of the indeterminacy of these beams so we can directly find the movements by this equation that M is equal to the P L by 8 half of the moment will be transferred to this part and half of the moment will be transferred to this part M is equal to P L by 8 so both uh, both supports will take the moment and the moment can be found out by P L by 8 where P is the load wheel here which is, the, which is the pointed load L is the total length of the beam here L is the total length of the beam and it is a constant so by putting these values we can find out the movement here at this point and also at this point now what is the moment value here at, for this beam when the load is acting at a distance of A from the left end and at a distance of B from the right end when the load is not acting at the midpoint then the moment value changes so the moment here will be created M will be equal to the P a b square divided by l square and movement at this point will be equal to the p a square b divided by l square so now how to find out the moment at this point here at this point so p is the load here is the pointed load for example it is 5 kilonewton or maybe 10 kilonewton but it should always be a pointed load. A, A is the, this distance, which is a, a distance from the left end to the point load. So this is A, B square. It means the distance B is from this right end to this load is B. And in this case, it is square. So we have to put two, we have to put square on the B and then dividing it by L square, where L is the total length of the beam here. So by putting these values, we will find the moment here at this point. And similarly, by putting the values here, we will find the moment at this point. Now when there is a uniformly distributed load of W, then how we can get the moment value at these points? Now the moment value changes because the variation of the load is different. So now in the uniformly distributed load on the fixed ended beam, so it will be equal to the P, sorry, it will be equal to the here it will be, a moment will be equal to the w l square by 12 here as well w l square by 12 will be the moment at this point so the same moment will be distributed along the uh, into two supports w l square by 12 and w l square by 12 w is again the load in kilonewton per meter or maybe newton per meter but it should always be uniformly distributed load means per meter load l is the distance the total length of the beam and 12 is the constant now when there is a triangular load acting on the beam here we see here w is a triangular load acting on this beam so the moment will be different in this case the moment here is equal to the w l squared divided by 30 and the moment here at this point is equal to the w l squared by this is w l squared divided by 12 sorry if I draw it again, so moment at this point will be equal to the W L square divided by 20. So these are the constant values here for uh, this beam. So hope you guys understood the different moment values for the different loading condition uh, for the fixed ended beams. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.